Uh, how long does it take for the disappointment to kind of fade and for you to be able to sit back and appreciate what you guys accomplished this year? Uh, probably, uh, I don't know. I'll let you know when it fades. What do you think? You know, I don't know. It's uh, disappointing. I'm frustrated. You know, not frustrated, but disappointed for our guys and our fans. And, uh, you know, it's not something – it's not like uh, it's something we didn't do. It was more of what they did. And um, it wasn't like somebody wanted something more than somebody else. It's just uh, you saw how close the games were. And uh, it's more a testament to, you know, what they did. And uh, obviously they played great defensively. I congratulate them. You know, Ned did a great job, the whole organization. So they get a chance to represent the American League now in the World Series. And and uh, we wish them well. But, uh, you know, through it we got to uh, – Got some good things done. We got let the country remind the country what a great baseball city and city in general Baltimore is, and then feel good about that. Some people kind of know our secret, so to speak. So um, there's a lot of positive things there, but you know it, it's kind of shallow right now. There's so many things rocked during the year that it's just an unspoken word, a look at each other. There's real respect for for. Uh, each other, and like I just told man, game's not always fair. You know, someone's gonna be extremely disappointed. And so, our guys, when you put that much time and effort into something, then it's done. So close, but uh, I guarantee you we'll do everything possible to to try to give them and organization, our fans, this opportunity again. I can promise you that. Eduardo. Uh, kind of going along with that, I mean, how, how tough is it to digest, like you said, the fact that all these games were close, that all of them were decided by two or fewer games, both games here were decided were one-run games? Yeah, I think that's that's part of it. But, you know, whether it's a one or a hundred, it still has the same sting. And, um, you know, just like Detroit felt, just like uh, Oakland felt, I mean, this is, and like I said, there's going to be 29 disappointed teams when the season's over. That's what makes it, you know, the motion is there. Like, I'm sure y'all saw. I didn't wait around to see it. I knew it was going to be for them, you know, to accomplish a team, a city, a, a group of fans and organizations, uh, hopes. And um, it's just a testament to what a uh, group of young men can do when everybody's pulling on the same rope. But it doesn't, you know, you know, my, my support and my, you know, love of our guys is unconditional. They didn't have to win a World Series for me to feel differently about them. Take one or two more. Joel? Buck, you're always good about talking about your feelings for your players, city, fans, organization. How do you feel right now you've pursued trying to get to this point and further a whole professional life? You know, I, Joel, I'm not saying this because it's supposedly the right thing to say. My emotion is for the players and the organization and the fans because, you know, I keep thinking about something I or we could have done differently. You know, that's what you think about. But, you know, you're always uh, – if you care like our people care, it hurts. And that's why I know how much it hurts these guys and uh, and our fans. They've been there through thick and thin for us in Baltimore. Supportive board ownership's been there since the day I walked in the door. So, you know, you really feel bad about disappointing them with not being able to get over that hump and roll the dice again. You know, you, you see how close the margin is. We pitched so well again tonight, today. Miggy was solid. Uh, Darren got a big out. Andrew and Zach and you know, just a, you know the, the two runs they scored and, and they hit a ball out of the infield. You know, some of that was you know some self self uh, inflicted. Even though Steve made a good choice, and because of where Caleb has to set up nowadays, it makes it tougher to tag guys. One last one, Ian. Buck, uh, can anything your team went through in the series help you guys if you get back to this point? You know, anything to learn from it? Or you know, there's so many roads to cross to get here, and it's not always it's not always health. You know, the, the things that, that we overcame on paper, we didn't look at it like that. You know, they said, okay, this is why we do this, and. Um, to answer your question, uh, it, it can't hurt 
but uh, it's about players and talent and you know it's not played by this unbelievable stretch it's about players who play the game and care about doing the right thing consistently over a long period of time and holding themselves to a high standard on and off the field in the off season there's so many things that have to happen for you to get a chance a chance at this so um, we'll roll up our sleeves and start it all over again here I know Dan and I will meet tomorrow and get ready, get moving to figuring out a way to get back here again.